And welcome back to the special one hour edition of KXAN News at 10. We're hearing Beto O'Rourke is now speaking in El Paso at his camp, so let's listen in. Again, by thanking each and every single one of you. You've been so amazing for us, with us, to us for the duration of this, and I, and I cannot thank you enough. And I want to begin by, by thanking my family. Uh, my mom, Melissa, I hope is still here. Where are you, mom? It, she's at the bar. <laughs> I mean, love you, mom. Um, you know, for, some of you know this, some of you don't, but in, in addition just to being an extraordinary human being and to being my mom and the mom of Aaron, and Charlotte, my two wonderful sisters, and the strongest person I know, um, we learned that, that my mom had cancer uh, just, just months ago, and a pretty aggressive form of cancer at that. And the whole time that we've been campaigning together and she's been pushing us and supporting us and encouraging us, she's been in the fight of her life, literally, and undergoing chemotherapy and treatments in Houston and then coming back to El Paso. But without fail the unconditional love and support and the push that you give me day in and day out kept me going throughout this so mom i love you so much um we're, we're all on your campaign now against this cancer and um my sister charlotte my sister aaron uh maximo patrick um this entire family brooks christine uh, Jimmy, Jane, all the family who, who came in from out of town, love you all so much. Um, for, for Amy, who, you know, sometimes folks will say, um, it was so nice of your wife to give you permission to do this. And, and th those of you who know us and know our family, there was no permission sought. There was no permission granted. This was a decision that you and I made together. Um, and, and we did this because of the other part of our family, um, Ulysses, and Molly and Henry, they were, continued to be the impetus for this. We know um, that at some point or other, we will face their judgment for what we do or what we fail to do at a moment of truth like this one. And we wanted to make sure that we could come through. And when they ask us at some point down the road, what were you up to when, when all these terrible things were going on in Texas? And when we still had a chance to do something about it, we want them to know that we stood to be counted along with so many other extraordinary, wonderful people who are in this room with us tonight. So I want to thank my family. And those of you um, who've been part of this campaign, you know this. Amy has been out on her own um, doing town hall meetings, conducting rallies, doing interviews on media in Spanish and in English as well, um, block walking every day, converting people who've never voted a day in their lives. She registered someone who was 83 years old last month who's voting in the first election of her lifetime. So watch out. Next, next time you see an O'Rourke on the ballot, it might just be Amy O'Rourke, okay? No? I want to thank all of our, our friends who are here again, who have supported us uh, back from um, running for uh, sixth grade class president at Mesita Elementary, Chris Cummings and others, um, and, and everyone who's been giving us a push along the way and helping out as we've been in the campaign of our lives. I mean, we've put every ounce of effort, every moment of time that we have into this, and, and you all know that and you've been there for us, and you've been there for our kids, and you've been there for, for counsel and guidance, and even you know Mike Waters' uh, spiritual direction, and connecting me to the higher power in, in our life. And so to my friends who are here, thank you all. You are listening to an upbeat Beto O'Rourke tonight. Uh, despite having lost to Governor Greg Abbott in the race for governor, he ran and lost in the U.S. Senate in 2018, ran and lost in the Democratic presidential primary in 2020. That didn't stop him. Beto O'Rourke, though, losing tonight by 12% of the vote to Governor Greg Abbott.